Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. My name is Joe Maloney, and as head teacher, I'd like to welcome you to our very first virtual open evening event. Our usual open evening welcomes well over a thousand visitors. They come to hear one of four head teacher talks and take a tour of the academy, meeting hundreds more staff and students, all excited to show you our school. Unfortunately, whichever way you do the maths, that was never going to be possible this evening with the rule of six. So, instead of talking to a hall full of people this evening, I, alongside three of our students, who I will introduce shortly, will be talking into a camera, whilst imagining you all sat at home watching, hopefully as a family with a good supply of tea and biscuits. You'll hear from our senior student, Ted, Following that, you'll hear from two of our latest recruits, James and Megan, who have just joined us in Year 7, before I then come back on to wrap things up at the end. There will also be a short video available, which we think will be particularly useful for Year 6 students sat listening, so that you can begin to visualise what a day in the life of a student at the Misborn is really like, and start to picture yourself here with us. We will record our talks and place them on our website for you to either watch again at a later date or to tell friends about if they have missed the event this evening. So, let's get started. I imagine that you have all chosen to join us this evening because you already know what a good school the Misborn is. We have been very fortunate in recent years to have many more families apply to join us than there are places. When we ask families what is it about the Misborn that they like, they tell us about the calm, friendly and approachable welcome they received on open evening or that they've heard about from other families with children already with us. Staff show that they genuinely care for the students. They are who tonight is all about. When families visit on our open mornings and see the school in session, they comment on the purposeful working environment, our articulate and engaging students, and the high expectations we have of them in their work, their presentation, and their behavior. In recent years, our school has gone from strength to strength. We have built on what was already good about the school, and now see this translating into some exceptional results. In 2019, we celebrated the school's best ever GCSE results since the new performance measures were introduced. We saw more students achieve the top grades, nines, eights and sevens, than ever before. That's equal to A star, A and B grades in the old system. This year, although outcomes were based on centre assessed grades rather than final exams, similar high standards were achieved. But it isn't only students of the highest ability that do well with us. Students from all starting points have made excellent progress over the last two years. Our Progress 8 score, the main measure for showing how much students have improved during their time with us, put us into the top 20 most improved schools nationally in 2019. We were well above the national measure for progress and attainment in many subjects and are predicted to continue that trend with future cohorts. Having said all of that, I believe schools are much more than what the statistics tell us. When you go around our school and you would see what a friendly, welcoming and safe place it is to learn, our staff are dedicated to and very proud of our students. They treat each one as an individual and plan their learning to provide the right amount of academic rigour, challenge and support. Our students are well looked after from the moment they arrive by our, by our dedicated pastoral teams. Our recently introduced smaller school structure ensures that our students receive personalised support from the moment they start with us. Instead of having one head of year overseeing 180 new Year 7 students, we have four heads of school who, alongside their deputies and school coordinators, will just have one or two tutor groups to support. This way, we get to know both the students and their families very quickly. 
I remember speaking to one parent recently who said their son loved being at the school so much that they came home one Tuesday evening and said that the week was going too quickly and he wished he could go back to Monday and do it all over again. Now, I wonder how many of us, children or adults listening, can ever admit to saying that during the working week. We're fortunate to have some fantastic facilities here at the Misbourne. Our campus is well spaced out. You won't find large, overbearing buildings with long, overcrowded corridors. Instead, you will see a number of smaller blocks, each with just one or two curriculum areas based in them. This not only helps us to create a calm and safe environment, but it makes life really easy in those first few nervous days for the New Year 7s to find their way around. We have a relatively new sixth form block with English classrooms and a large study room, a stunning performing arts centre, large modern cafe and new ICT suites and tennis courts. We also recently gained planning permission for a brand new sports centre with performance studio and a new larger car park. This will not only benefit our students but become a fantastic community facility. There are also plans for the current sports hall to be replaced by a new landscaped area for students to relax in and a new teaching block in anticipation of, of us being asked to take in additional students in the future. With all of these facilities nestled in acres of beautiful playing fields surrounded by an air of outstanding natural beauty at the edge of a quiet village, this is really a pleasant and inspiring place to learn. We have very high standards of behaviour both inside and outside the classrooms. Lessons are calm and we expect all students to always try their best, learn from their mistakes and have the strength of character to stick at something even when it might seem impossible to begin with. Our vision of developing world-class students who have the belief in themselves that anything is possible and lead happy and successful lives permeates through everything we do. We pride ourselves in putting the students at the heart of everything. And it's at this point I'd like to introduce our senior student, Ted, to speak. Hello and welcome. We are so pleased that you could join us today for this virtual open evening. I'm Ted, a head student here at the Misborn, and I'd like to offer you some insight to my personal experience at the school. As someone who started their journey at the Misborn just over six years ago now, and also has a younger brother here, I can assure you that I've always felt safe and part of a wider community. After five years of working up to my GCSEs, culminating in achieving fulfilling and successful grades, I chose to continue my Misborn story into the sixth form. Looking back, I have many highlights of my time here, whether I was observing longshore drift on the beaches of Lyme Regis, or getting stuck between boulders, rock scrambling at Treco, or just simply living my day-to-day -day life as a student of the Misborn. I've always felt like I've belonged here. Here at the Misborn, I, as well as my many friends in sixth form, know how much the school and its staff are always supporting us. The dedication and opportunities that I've been given is a large part of why I'm on your screens today. I would never have imagined myself in this kind of role, imagined I'd got the grades I'd got, or imagined I've even been the person that I am. Whoever you are or want to be, wherever you're from or want to go, the Misborn can lead you there, granting you success and most importantly happiness. Now, this may seem strange to a lot of you, but you and I are at very similar times in our lives. I'm just on the other side. As your story at the Misborn begins, mine is coming to a close. I feel it too, the nerves and uncertainty as to what comes next. However, with the excellent guidance offered by the Ms. Bourne in regards to university and careers, this time I've been imbued with a sense of purpose and excitement. Bolstered by confidence in myself, I can achieve whatever I put my mind or my heart to. It is that part of me that will always be fundamentally Ms. Bourne. I truly believe that the Ms. Bourne has shaped me into the person that I am today, and I will always be thankful for that. I'm proud to be a head student at the Misborn. Thank you all for watching. No matter who you are or aspire to be, the Misborn could be the beginning of your next chapter. Everyone take care, stay safe, and have a great night. Hello, I'm James and this is my first year at the Misborn. 
Like you, I spent a lot of time last year looking around schools to see which one I liked the most, and I knew straight away the Misborn School was the school for me. When I first started here a few weeks ago, I was nervous but also very excited about having a fresh start. Despite my initial nerves, I have soon settled in and can find my way around without the map. Or almost. It's fine if you do get lost there as, all, as there is always someone about to help you show the way. Although the start of term has been a little different this year, I still had an amazing introduction to the Misborn. All the teachers are so kind and caring and make all the lessons enjoyable. I'm really enjoying the music lessons. They are fun, practical and interactive and the teacher is really nice. Also in PE, the teachers work with you to make sure you always achieve your best. I'm also loving the cafe, especially the slushies which will apparently count as one of your five a day. Something I'm really looking forward to is taking part in some of the extracurriculum clubs. There is a massive choice of clubs and after school activities for you everyone and I'm 100% sure you'll find at least one thing new to do which you can do with friends and make lots of new ones too. Whatever your interests, I think you'll really enjoy it here as there is so much more to discover at the Misborn. Everyone will help you to strive to be the best you can be. There are many routes to being successful at the Misborn and the Misborn will help you support to be the best you can be. I'm so excited for my future here and already know from just my first few weeks here that the Misborn will support me and help me to develop into a confident person in the future who has been able to achieve my very best. Hello, I'm Year 7 here at the Misborn. At first, it's a little strange coming to the school and being the youngest instead of the oldest, but there's no need to worry. The teachers here are really kind and helpful. Just a year ago, I was in the position you're in now. Looking at a new school, I had so many thoughts tied in my mind. Would I get lost? How would I make new friends? What would the lessons be like? When I first came here, I was so anxious. We had a timetable and a map given to us on our first day so we wouldn't get lost. I only came along with three other friends, one of which is in my form, which meant I didn't know any of the students in my year. Now, after being here for a few weeks, I've made lots of new friends. We now meet in the cafe or playground during break times and chats. I like the lessons which are more interesting than primary school. Tech has to be one of my favourites as it's new to me and it's definitely fun making things. We couldn't have an induction day in person this year but I talked to my form tutor and the others in my form on video and watched a tour of the school, much like you all do now. Already it feels like I've been here for a while, the days fly by. I really enjoy it here and I feel like part of the Miss Bond community already. I hope I continue to fly high like the swans on our logo. Thank you Ted, James and Megan, already showing great promise by being able to write such lovely accounts their first few weeks with us and present them so confidently. Now, Year 6. Even though you're at home, I'd like you to do something for me. Make sure you're sat down before we start. So, I'd like you to close your eyes. And then imagine that you've been accepted into the Misborn. I want you to think about everything that you've heard and seen so far tonight. All the exciting opportunities that will be opened up to you. I want you to think about what you could achieve from the moment that you step into Year 7 to the moment that you leave at the age of 18, just like Ted here tonight. I want you to believe that anything is possible for you if you put the work in. And I want you to imagine graduating from the Misborn as a confident, kind young adult with the qualifications and skills needed to help you realise your dreams, whatever they may be. Now, if you can imagine that, and you can open your eyes again now, imagine leaving here a success, then I know that all of the staff here at the Misborn will be really excited to start working with you next September. There is a lovely quote I often use from an American tennis legend, Venus Williams. She says, just believe in yourself. And even if you don't, pretend that you do, because at some point you will. I think that is so true, and that confidence, resilience, and self-belief is something that we work really hard on with our students. I know that you all have a difficult choice to make, and not being able to visit schools has no doubt made that decision a little harder this year. I'm not here tonight to tell you why our school is any better than any other, 
But what I hope is that we have given you a sense of what it means to be a Misborn student, part of our family and what we believe in. We believe that every student has gifts and talents and we will provide them with the opportunities to develop them as well as discover new ones that they don't yet know that they have. We believe in providing a caring and supportive environment in which well-being and kindness are seen as just as important as hard work and success so that every individual can truly flourish with us. We believe that there are no barriers to learning that cannot be overcome by school, family and child all working together. We believe that our young people will not only be the future, but they will leave us with the skills and confidence to help shape it into a world that we are proud of. And lastly, we want students to believe. We want them to believe that they can achieve more than they might currently think is possible. We hope that in conjunction with the prospectus and other information on our website, including a presentation from our departments who you would have had a chance to meet had you been here this evening, you will have a good understanding of the vision, values and expectations and the opportunities on offer here at the Misborn. If you still have questions after tonight or would like to send us some feedback, please visit the Joining Us pages on our website and complete the online form. So, Year 6, I want to leave you tonight with three final messages just for you I'd really like, that I'd really like you to remember. If you decide to apply for the Misborn and are lucky enough to gain a place, we promise to look after you, we promise to challenge you, but above all else, we promise to always believe in you. Have a good evening. Thank you.